What do you expect to see from Scotty? And just out of curiosity, where would you place this season should things work out come Sunday? You know, as as great of a season as he's had, right? You know, six wins, he's won a major. You know, I think when we look back at some of these like historic years, really all of them have at least two majors. And it really feels like, you know, even if he were to go on to win the FedEx Cup later, you know, it would just be a great season. But to get two majors in a year is, um, you know, we rarely see that. And that would really put him um, in that upper echelon of, of seasons. I think there'd be a little bit more of a question had, you know, Rory not played the Scottish Open last week. You know, so we kind of got to see how he would bounce back. I know a major is different, but, you know, Rory really values these national opens. And he came to play. He finished in a share for fourth. He, you know, his strength off the tee, he was second in strokes gained off the tee. So, you know, even even guys like Rory, as much as they've been around, you know, you feel like they've experienced everything. I think he can take something from what happened at the U.S. Open. Bryson's a guy that likes to just game plan everything, to calculate it all to the nth degree. And, you know, when you go to an Open Championship, it's it's a lot more, you know, creativity. There's there's humps and hollows. There's You don't know where the ball is going to roll out to. There's wind. There's rain. There's all sorts of different factors that, you know, it's, it's hard to game plan for. And so that's probably a lot of the reason why he struggled in the open, but um, you know, Hey, this, this feels like a really different Bryson, you know, like his short game is so much better than it used to be. And um, you know, he's putting it great as well. Um, I think really the key is just like being in control. 